Hi there, my name is Bobby. I'm the creator of Banana Split, and in this tutorial, we're going to cover the basics of using the application. So, uh, Banana Split is a dynamic soundboard application. It was originally developed as a way for me to incorporate music and sound effects into tabletop RPG sessions with my friends. But it can also be used for things like podcasts, stage plays, or any situation where you need to organize and trigger multiple sound effects. At the core of Banana Split are compositions, which represent one or more sound clips. There are three ways to create a composition. You can go to Project, Add Compositions, and then select any number of sound files. You can hit the green plus button, and once again, choose any number of sound files. Or you can simply drag and drop sound files from your computer directly into the Banana Split window. So now we've created several compositions. Right now, they each represent a single sound clip. If that's all you need, you're pretty much done. To trigger a composition, just click it once in the main area. As you can see, when the composition is playing, a yellow border will appear around it. That's to help you distinguish which compositions are playing and which ones aren't. If you click the composition while it's in the middle of playing, by default, it will stop playback. You can trigger multiple compositions at a time so that their sounds overlap. The slider here on the right allows you to adjust the volume of the composition. It can be adjusted before playback or during playback. If you click the speaker icon directly below the volume control, you can mute or unmute the composition. You can also change the icon and color of the composition by choosing the appropriate menu option from the right click menu. There are actually a lot of other ways to customize a composition that are actually pretty cool, um, but we cover those in a separate video. So for now, we're just gonna leave it at this. If you want to delete a composition, simply select it by clicking on it, and then go to Edit, Delete Selected Compositions, or hit this trash can button, or right click and hit Delete, or simply hit the Delete button on your keyboard. Say yes to the prompt, and the composition is deleted. If you want to organize your compositions a bit better, you can rearrange them by clicking and dragging them in between other compositions. You can also control click and shift click to select multiple compositions. Also, just a small side note, when you're selecting a composition, the best way to do it is to click on the text area below the box right here. You can still totally select it by clicking in the main area right here, but that will also trigger the composition to play, which if you're just moving compositions around is probably not something you want to do. So another way to organize your compositions is to divide them into different groups by creating tabs. By default, you start with a single tab, but to add additional tabs, either go to Project, Add Tab, or click this button right here. We'll call our new tab Act 2. So now you can see we have two tabs up here, our original tab and our new tab, Act 2. To switch between them, you can just click on whichever one you want to activate, or you can hold down the control key and hit the right or left uh, arrow buttons. So now that we've created Act 2, let's rename our original tab to Act 1. To do that, you can go to either Edit, Rename Active Tab, or hit this button right here. We'll rename our original tab Act 1. If you want to uh, copy, cut, or paste compositions, you can do that using the standard menu options right here and the standard keyboard shortcuts like Control C, Control X, and Control V. We'll go ahead and cut these two from Act 1 and move them into Act 2. You can paste as many times as you want, and you can certainly paste back in your original tab. If you decide you no longer need a tab, you can delete it by going to Edit, Delete Active Tab, or by hitting this button right here. Well, that covers the basics of using Banana Split. 
If you'd like to learn about the more advanced features of the application that let you do some really cool stuff, please check out my other videos, especially the one on editing compositions and the one on keyword templates. For more information about Banana Split, please check the description below this video. Thanks for watching.